Hey everybody, this is John and welcome to the free video. So looking at the spiders here, it's Sunday night, futures are open, we'll look at those in a second too. The main thing to keep in mind here is that whether it's an uptrending market or a downtrending market, it actually moves in a fairly orderly way within a price channel. And right now we have a downtrending price channel. And guess what? We are essentially right at or very near the bottom of that channel. It's very rare that we're gonna just keep going through this without at least a retrace. And it would make sense to me that we can get a bounce and then head into that tree line. Also remember that Monday, the bond markets closed. So I'd actually kind of see, you know, maybe a little bit more of a quiet day. Um, the S&Ps here, if we take a look at them tonight, at one point they were down about 12 points. You can see they're already coming off a little bit, you know, kind of retesting the low. Uh, so I do, I mean, I'm not going to be buying the indexes tomorrow. I'm, I'll show you like some of the setups and things like that that I'm looking at, but I'm not looking for, you know, crash Monday, so to speak. Um, and with the bond market close, you want to kind of keep an eye on the yen and see what's going on in the yen. So, you know, if the yen just explodes higher here, that would be a concern. Or, you know, if it's starting to kind of come off a little bit and everything like that too. So for trades tomorrow, what I'm just kind of looking at is... What are setups that are that are aligned here with the market? One of my favorite downside setups here is VMware. So on VMware, we've got a daily squeeze that's setting up and we've got a weekly squeeze. And what I love about this stuff is when it starts approaching a prior low. So this is exactly the reverse of a stock that is trying to go to new highs, right? Except to the downside. So if we look at something like this, that swing high to low, the 1272 extension on a weekly chart is $84. We're currently at 90. That's very playable. Okay. Uh, so I like that one quite a bit. And then um, for stocks, if you like stocks to the upside here, I would just look at strong stocks. You know, Costco. Costco is a stock here that's completely ignored uh, what's going on in the markets. If we look at something like GoPro, uh, you can see GoPro here. I mean, this one, you know, I, there's not much to do with this here. It's had a big move up. We've come down. We've come up. This is kind of more of a more of a violent uh, kind of a consolidation here. So there's not really any nice clean signal there. Um, and other stocks that I've seen that have been kind of sh you know showing promise, uh, they had a bad day, a bad day on Friday. And Mobileye, this is one that I've liked, and it had a bad day Friday. A lot of this was kind of in sympathy with Tesla. You know, they announced the news. It was kind of a classic buy the rumor, sell the news. Uh, so stocks like that I'm not as interested in as stocks that have clean setups like a VMware. So what I'm looking for is that you know the stock indexes, they've come off hard Thursday, they came off hard Friday. We're starting to enter that bottom of the channel. It makes sense that we start getting a retracement bounce to sell. Okay, hope that makes sense. You guys have a good night and we'll see you at the next update.